Hey, this is Jeff, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assign controls for my Axiom keyboard uh, MIDI controller to our displays here, to our inputs in main stage. Um, we're doing another main stage video today, and as always, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Or if you found it helpful, please leave a comment. Uh, if you didn't find it helpful, let me know how I can um, make them more helpful in the future. Okay, so um, I've got my... My Axiom 61 plugged in, you can see here. Right, we got our sound going there. It's, uh, you know, I'm, we, we set this up last time, then my little MIDI light. You can see our output volume there is, is all mapped up, but we don't have any controls. You see, I can move my knobs here, and it's not doing anything on the faders here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to layout. Now I've got this thing plugged in. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to click on each of these. Last time... We, uh, if you remember, we set them to channel one, channel two, channel three, and four. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click assign, and I'm going to play a little on my keyboard. And I, you see, I pressed assign. I just left it. I haven't clicked it again. But now I'm just clicking through the different, the different keyboards, and you can see it says Axiom USB in Axiom. So that's what what I'm doing. I'm just going to sign these up. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to assign my, my pitch bend wheel there. Yeah, that's assigned. Actually, let's see. Try one more time. I'm going to change that from channel to 4 to unassigned or channel 1 through 16. Nope, let's do that. Good. This one. Yep, same thing, 1 through 16. And then here are my little drum pads, so I'm just going to tap those bad boys. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, 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 doot. So I just punch them until they, uh, again, I'm punching what's on my keyboard here, and we're just going to punch those one at a time. That's good, okay. And this, I'm going to click on that, I'm going to punch this, and that's going to sign it. Good. Now I'm going to do the same thing with faders here, one at a time. Again, I haven't touched anything over here, I've just clicked assign, and as we assign, they're showing up. And main stage is smart, it automatically tells you what you got going on. It, it knows all, it sets all these values for you. you. You can fiddle with any of that stuff you want. Like sometimes I'll come in here, my buttons are set wrong, so I'll I'll change it from press release to alternating value. But they're best if they're press release. That's right. Now you can see it's really easy. I'm just clicking on all my little hardware interfaces. Now I've got my my little turn pan pan pots here. Just click one at a time, and as, as I'm clicking, I'm moving on to the next one in line. I'm just, all I'm doing on my interface is just, all I'm doing on my Axiom is just um, controlling the knob. I'm just turning it up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. You can see, basically, that's what I'm doing with my fingers, is, is what, what the, the knob is doing. And again, we're in layout mode, and you have to be very careful not to accidentally hit anything else, because if I, like, accidentally touch the key on my keyboard, like here, I'm touching the key on my keyboard now, and it's, like, changing, like, the harder I press my key... Well, that's not what I want, so I have to come back and I have to adjust it. And then I've got my play, my stop, play, pause buttons, working through all those. See? Yep. All right. So I think that's pretty much laid out. Now when I come back here to edit, if I adjust any of those controls, see? Everything slides. So now what I, now what I can do is I can take a setting, let's say, for this fader here, See, we're, we're in the set mode. Um, I'm in patch mode, sorry. Now I'm in patch mode. What I want to do is I'm going to take this. Um, what I normally do is I actually do this in concert level. And I'll set this fader here. This is the one on the far right. And I'll make this my, my master volume. So I come down here, output 1, 2, volume. And then I'll map this parameter because I don't want to, usually I don't want my output going much above uh, 1 and a half or 2. So I'll, I'll put it to 2. And I usually don't want, um, my volume cut to zero, but I'll kind of keep it like that. And normally also what I like to do is I like change the scale. 
Um, and so what the scale does is, is as I turn the volume up and down, it'll it'll give me a different sensitivity. So that'll um, by this curve, if I turn it up just a little, right here, it'll really jump right in the middle. But normally I prefer one more like this that has a sweep. And so what it does is it, it stays pretty quiet for a long stretch, and then all of a sudden just it really jumps up there. Because um, when I want more volume, I want it fast, I want to be able to push it. So, okay. So I've done that. I've, you know, I can now control the master volume right here, and it'll tell me what my setting is. Yep, that's good. There's zero right there. That looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's how you uh, that's how you assign hardware controls to the virtual. You map them. Um, that's that's a uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting my words all messed up tonight. That is how you map. Um, you know, screen controls here. This is your screen control, and that's how we we mapped it. We we mapped it to a hardware input on my MIDI controller. Um, again, if you liked it, if this was helpful, let me know in the comments below.